Vou deixar ele live. Good evening to Aunt Tobago. Salams to all my Muslim brothers and sisters who watch this video. 56 years, right? 56 years earlier, a pillage and rape our country. Are we going nowhere, right? I'm making this video in my car this evening. I'm making this video in my car park up in my yard. I ain't going nowhere. Just like how Trial Tobago, not going nowhere, Trial Tobago. You know, I tell it all you. See that young girl, Emma? I wish I was standing with she, boy. Because we are Trial Tobago, we are fools, boy. You understand? Watch out how my people come out in the march in America. 17 people dead. 17 people dead. Right? 17. Today is what, the 25th of March 2018 in Trinidad and Tobago. And over 100 people dead. And no we ain't a March yet. We don't care about that. We, as Trinidadians and Tobagonians, we're not going nowhere, people. We're not going nowhere. We union on propaganda and bullshit. You understand? We union propaganda and bullshit. What we going on in we little country here? Yeah. Look at all my issues we had to deal with in, in Trinidad and Tobago and nobody want to come out and stand up for the rights. Nobody. Nobody want to stand up for the people who die every day. Who in murdered. And here what the Prime Minister about it. We going mad. We, the people at Trinidad and Tobago going mad. You understand? He can't solve nothing. He can't do nothing because Trinidad and Tobago going mad. It's them, boy. Watch me now. All I ain't see, boy. All I not see, eh? Like I post up my back my first, first video I make about a blasted pothole. Right? A blasted pothole. The first video I can't sleep at night, you know, because I blasted pothole. I watch me. Watch all these jackasses. That would stink and the dirty. All ever see a crime solved so fast in Trinidad and Tobago. All ever see a murder. Solved so fast in Trinidad Tobago. Watch two days. Two days it come to part. They come in two days time and patch that hole where that man died from in Barakpur here on Russia Douglas Road. Two days time they come and they patch it and they solve the crime there. They, 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 they capture and they convicted the murderer. You understand? But they ain't gone after the true murderers boy. The people who was responsible before to, 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 to make sure that hole fix. And here what I want to address this evening now. Uh. You see when I talk about Wasa, and I talk about the hospital, and I talk about me blaming the people that were working there, you know. I blame the people who are in charge at them, 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 them institutions. You understand? When I say Wasa, boy, people telling me about oh, Wasa not responsible for patching the hole. But if all you know, all you're going to dig up a hole, we could put a citizen life in danger. You didn't feel it's common sense to tell the people who are in charge are coming to patch the hole. Because all you're saying, all you're in charge are patching the hole or repairing the hole. All you didn't feel it, it's common sense to tell somebody you're what happening. We're going to dig up a hole around a blasted corner to give somebody water. All you come now, boy. All you come and all you go be on site and as soon as we don't get connection and thing, all you go patch it. Yeah, and we wait for somebody to dead. Like somebody post up on the, on the, on the, on the, on the pit here. Eh? The commander only patch that hole. People go and drive up and down Russia, Douglas Road and see how much bigger hole it have than that. But no, they come to lock up one hole. They come to convict, come convict one hole. Yeah, son. Bring to, 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 to the court one hole. You yeah, understand that that could get, that could bring back the young boy life now. You yeah, understand? People are trying to be go watch me now. I went to sleep early last night. I didn't see Philip video last night. Yeah, so what should they bring in the man to? Yeah, so what we could say? What trying, what trying to be go really had to hear? What they want to hear and what is they want to see again, boy? Tell me now, boy.
Minister of National Security, look, we read and a man come down, he boy, will be in show, but they, they posting up thing now about the man convicted. You understand? We have a Minister of National Security convicted. If that is true, our fraud. You understand? People of this country, we not going nowhere, no. Look at strong in my car, we ain't going no blasted way, boy. We not going nowhere unless we come out on the streets. What we waiting for? Two and a half years? Eh? Boy, we country ain't gonna last so long, boy. Trinidad gonna and Trinidad and Tobago can't last so long. What with these people coming and on, on the media and lying and standing up in the blasted parliament? I want to know, you know, boy. Oh, look at stamp in the parliament and tell people and in, in the world that Tobago not suffering, everything good with Tobago. Eh? When everything in Trinidad and Tobago, everything went into Trinidad, so blasted expensive, look all the come sub all the stinking nasty. All the come to tell the people them how about devaluating the dollar. All the come to tell Rowley and them to devalue the dollar now. You understand? And still, yeah, boy. People say, well, that's what we vote for. Yes, that's what we vote for. You understand? But we go stand up and we go take that. When we voted for some, somebody there, boy, when we voted people, we voted for betterment. We vote, voted for change. And what we get, boy? What we get? One star stunts. The only thief in me money. Silent as Philip said, silent to ease, that, that, it's easier to silent a man who's standing up for his rights than to go behind the band of them. Watch, a police in uniform selling marijuana. Tell me, nah. tell me what was really going on in the country. We talking about cleaning up the service so long, more than a year now, Philip talking about that, the people are trying to be good talking about that. Eh? What you gonna do? Lock up that police officer and suspend him with pay or some kind of thing and let drag on in the blasted failing courts. And that is system. And that's what we want to stand for in Trinidad Tobago. Look at how many millions of people come out, boy, because 17 people dead in a school. Eh? 17. And look how people come out on the streets, boy. And them not living in a failed country. America is not a failed, a failed city or a failed nation. Everybody is look up at America and still the people not accepting that. Eh? Still the people not accepting that a man could go into a school and kill 17 innocent people. But we are people running across Trey and Tobago killing people. And the Prime Minister, this jackass as he is, here where he coming to tell the people what? He take off a thousand guns off the street. You understand? Take off a thousand guns. And last year I tell the people we had 30, what? 30 thousand illegal guns. So we had to get to count a thousand or two thousand or whatever. You was 28 or 30 or 29 years again to take off the recent. A thousand a year. And every time you take off a thousand it's because 10,000 come to the borders. You understand? All the union bullshit boy. And watch me now. You see me? I fed up talk about Rowley them, you know. I fed up talk about Rowley and Colman Boot and them boy. You understand? What going on with we as citizens in Trinidad and Tobago that I want to talk about? Why we not protesting? Why we not coming out on the streets? Why we not holding we hands and come out and say enough is enough? At over a hundred people dead. Why we not coming out boy? We roads in a mess. Food prices jacking up, all they talking about reducing the, the value in the dollar. Why are we not coming out? Why? Because we feel we good? People in China and Tobago, we not good, boy. We not good. 500 million to build up a blasted airport terminal in Tobago. For what? Eh? Look, Philip, study showing me, boy, the economy throughout the world growing. Why we ain't still in a blasted recession? The third richest, the third richest country in the Western Hemisphere. Why we still in a recession? Why we had to come and talk about a jackass? Had to come and talk now about devaluing with dollar. 
again, how much time we go devaluate boy? That's that, that why all, we telling all your boy better we done with, with this friggin' Trinidad and Tobago dollar thing. I'm better we try to spend US down here. Why? Why we are Trinidadians and Tobago and you're not coming forward, boy? What we go, what we waiting on? I really, really, really can't understand how you watch me now. I really, really can't understand, boy. But the man tell me last night, he for sure now he ain't going up for no, no position in the PP. In the Progressive Empowerment Party, not going up there. You see at the end of the man's video, the man ain't mentioned nothing about the PP, him advertise the PP or nothing, boy. Because he realize people on bullshit. People still on real, real, real bullshit with all the evidence he bringing out to the people. People not hearing and seeing. They still on this red crap and this yellow crap of bullshit. So yeah, what you thinking to yourself now? He pull aside from the PEP because people trying the ball, he pulling on the party. You understand? So he's not part of the party again, he got a stalk now. You understand? The only man, just like Emma, who started the protest for them 17 people who did like a million followers. The only man was standing up for the people at China and Tobago since last year and before that. What you go, what you all are doing them? All they want to stand up with you because we on propaganda and bullshit. As he say, as soon as that man dead, as soon as that little boy dead, Put your business on the road, see you, yes, he was in drugs and he was in, We don't want to deal with the proper issue that eh, we country is a failing nation because of the bandit clans we run in the country. We don't want to study that you now. You understand? We want to study what they want to say about the pregnant woman who died in my arrow. We want to study that bullshit. You understand? We don't want to talk about no fixing we country, boy. I, hey. Till I get up this morning and I sleep real late today. You understand? I watch my when I get up and I, my wife tell me Philip was live last night at 11 o'clock. I go on and I sit down and I, 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 I lie down and I, I sit down and watch this video. But I cry from the beginning to the end of the blasted video. Because by the time the man start, by the time I see the name of the video, I don't know what he's gonna come with, boy. You understand? The man is a human being, boy. You understand? And he ain't committing the kind of atrocities that these jackasses in parliament committing against the people at Chan Tobago but people still want to go against that man tell me now boy eh? what we go do again boy as a nation boy what we go do if we don't want to accept facts as the truth what we go do boy accept bullshit as the truth right through and Accept all these shit we be reading in Sabkan News Network. You understand? Sabkan Sab News Media. You understand? And accept that as the truth, and When we see in everything, the PEP people, the Progressive Empowerment Party, eh, eh, showing it straight on to began the world. That can be true, boy. What we see in can be true. That we, send, we spend 720 billion dollars in 12 years. We are not the show for it. That's not true, man. That is propaganda, that is bullshit. You understand? We do have a boat to go to Tobago and the boat still park up in Japan and a jackass calm. Eh? You come in to tell people about two. But hey, you really a jackass and shoot, boy. Call me in, but you really watch me now. Golem, boy. You really, you smeagle, boy. You understand? You smeagle. You see how smeagle was? In Lord of the Rings? You understand? Only deceiving. The two, the two um, hobbits, and playing to be the friend, and when he try, he try to kill him. Yeah, and you see him bite up, bite off the man's finger, we name it by arm. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? Bite off his finger for the ring of power. Yeah, and that is you, Colum. Yeah, and that is you, um, Colbin Bird. You smeagle, boy, you stink and you nasty. You see just how smeagle drag on his ass and drag on his belly in that show? I want to see you drag in jail so boy because you stink nasty and deceitful how you could come in 2018 and tell people what they're seeing on, on, on that light on that arm um, that satellite thing that's not truth 
That two days thing. Do two days delay. But you have to be a damn jackass, boy. You understand? You have to be stupid and on Smeagol, boy. You understand? At least Smeagol still had a plan. You understand? He still had a plan and he, he tried to execute it and you see he fail. And I will go up with all your boy, all the feeling and all the realize all the feeling, but still all the wind step down and give, give the citizens not know what man are. It's not giving progressive empowerment party a chance, you know. This thing is not about party, you know, brother. This thing going to be own party, brother. This thing is about giving the citizens, the heirs of the third richest nation in the Western Hemisphere, a chance to live. A good and decent life, boy. This is what this is about. This is not about power and position and lies and bullshit. People get horrors, watch me now. Hmm. People get horrors when the man call these people them and call and when I call them so but watch me they deserve that brother. All of those vex, they deserve it, boy. Because if people saying that Philip is an is a, is a idiot or a jackass or whoever to stand up against Kim, Kim Cole for your own blasted rights, you can't tell me that Faris Baghdad Arawi is a good man to take, to pass a law, to push down a law, to insist a law in Chan Tobago to take with the rights of Chan Tobago, boy. Well, you can't tell me that, boy. That bullshit to me. You understand? That is real, real, real stupidness to me. I can't handle that kind of thing again, boy. I go into that meeting yesterday when I realized, look, Philip, not there. Well, I don't know something up. You understand? I realize something up. You understand? Me ask no question or nothing, baggy man. answer this morning when I watch the video. You understand? People are trying to be go we on real shit boy and the only thing standing we standing I'll keep on saying it the only thing standing in the way from going forward is that we do want to unite as one people under one flag. We don't want to put aside we race. We study in Indian politics and African politics boy. We gotta forget about that boy. All the drug cartels and all the gangs in the country don't want nothing fixed, you know. They may want nothing fixed. But that's how they want to live. And because they don't want it fixed, partner, you in danger. Every citizen in Trinidad and Tobago, any person with thinking about only doing crime and selling drugs for a means of living, a means of, supply, of, of supporting their friends and family and finances or whatever, partner, all are we in trouble. Once dies there, them, them future and them plan in them head. All are we as citizens in trying to be going in trouble. The balling all the people in Tobago and want to sign up for their rights because they're afraid they lost their jobs. Panel ain't getting paid two months now. How they living by? All they feel if we come out on the streets and we call an election and and and, and and the, the Progressive Empowerment Party coming power, all they're going to lose all the job? No. The country had to run, the country had to run. But things will put in place that it run properly. That way we talk, that way we, we trying to show the people. That way we trying to explain to the people we're not going to just fire every friggin' body. So who run the country? Who go run the country if we fire everybody? We're gonna fire everybody, boy. We're gonna undo and redo the system. That when a man come to the licensing office, he gonna sit down for half day, and then they tell him the cash are closed, the cash are gone home. You understand? He can't get in license with new. You understand? We're gonna fix the system. That what we're talking about undo and redo, repurpose this, the police them. Clean up the police service. Get them incentives here what happening. We clean up we clean up the police service. We only have good officers working in the police service. Here we're going out all you now. You see there's 30,000 guns? There's 30,000 guns where we where the Prime Minister was talking about two years ago, a year or whatever ago. 
Right now it's about 50,000, so it's real money out there to me. Here what happening with all you. Every gun I bring in to be destroyed, processed and destroyed, I'll get a thousand dollars. You understand? So just imagine how them police gonna work diligently to make sure every gun come off the street because every gun they bring in, it's a bonus. You understand? Why we not doing that? Because we can't do that. We can't do that because they want the guns on the street. They want to have the, the people in Trent to be gone panic right through. And we so shippy we taking that. The people at Tobago, all in fine. That in, 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 instead of we investing money every year and spending millions and millions of dollars to buy a boat, try to buy a boat or try to rent a boat or whatever, you didn't think it was common sense enough that we'd build a blasted bridge by and save all our money? Eh? If we had a bridge, it depend on the government. All they talk, people talk about do depend on the government. If the government did buy, build a bridge, common sense, boy. All they check it out for themselves. Tobagonians, all they check it out for themselves. If the government, in the past, for 56 years, they build a bridge from here to Tobago, from Trinidad to Tobago, all they would not have to depend on the government today to get a ferry to bring all the food for all you today. Or look at that jumping all the car, jumping all the truck, jumping wherever they want and drive across the bridge and buy all the thing and go back. And? And boy, you feel that made more sense? 56 years and no government never tried to attempt with all the money, all the oil boom, the two oil boom and everything past the country. They never say boy, let me invest in a bridge in top of the way you go boy. Hmm? Because that's how they want to have all your boy, the THA. That's how they want to have all you, depending on them. So when they come, the sick of fans them come and tell me about stop depending on the government to patch the hole. Or stop depending on the government for medicine in the hospital. The government depending on other people to feed we. We got all the food. Up to the bread food as Philip say we buy it in the market and that not growing in Trent Tobago. You understand? It's growing you know. Yeah, and, but not in the, in the, in the, in the agriculture se sector to say, well, eh, it could be reasonable, a reasonable price. What will we have to pay? You understand? We still want to talk shipping us. You understand? We still want to talk shipping us. We don't want to come out on the streets and protest for we blasted rights. You understand? We want to, we want to see the corrupted police officers. See the buying weed and selling weed and them kind of thing that we like. You understand? And the government passing law to give police officers the right. I will tell all you, we, we just like bullshit, boy. We love bullshit. You to be go? We love bullshit, boy. That's my real cry today for my country, boy. Real, 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 real cry today to see how we can, this country really, we really don't care about nothing else. About, except fat, alcohol, and corruption. That what we love in Trinidad and Tobago. Once we could fit, once we could go by a bar and sit down and drink a beer, you understand it? And when carnival come, we could go down and degrade ourselves lower than an animal. You understand? And once we could steal and rob and pillage the country, that what we for. You understand? We in, we in for a better country. We in for a first world country. We not in a country. We not in for when we walk into a medical institute in Trinidad and Tobago, we could get professional health care. No. Must sit down on a chair and get a heart attack and a stroke on a chair in, Tri in Trinidad and Tobago hospital. That's what we had to do. You must go in the hospital and you must not no oxygen. You understand? You must go in the hospital and you must not no, no panadol or no, no medicine. You understand? And super farm and all the drug stores and all the the medical institute in Trinidad and Tobago, besides the people own. You understand? Besides the people own. San Fernando General Hospital, all the medical, all the um, health centers, the Scarborough Hospital, the, the, the Eric, Williams medical Eric Williams Medical Hospital, you understand? And the, the Port of Spain General Hospital, them can have medicine. But everything else, pumping with medicine. Go and buy the. You understand? Go and buy the. And still, the poor people, you know why they're you know? 
plenty of these, these sufferers. I say sufferers because I have blasted sufferers, so I mean calling nobody no sufferer, calling myself first a sufferer. Right? Plenty of these sufferers in Trinidad and Tobago still supporting the yellow crapo and the red crapo. The yellow chimpanzee and the red chimpanzee. The sufferers still want to say, let these vampires suck out the country dry. We love it so. We will criticize the PEP, we will criticize Philip, we could criticize Derek, we could criticize Felicia Ola, we could criticize Janice, we could criticize all of them. But we love we country going so. We don't want we country fix. You understand? We don't want we country fix, boy. We want we country remain a third, a third world shit old country, according to the President of America. When you say that, people say, oh, the President never say that. You understand? He don't have to say that, boy. Even if he didn't say it, look around you. Look around your surroundings. All the big shots who live in the gated community. Look what happened to Philip Edward Alexander family. Went to change a check. And as he come out of the bank, the bandit, them tell him, hey, the money we now change a check for we wait. Think about all you who live in the gated community. All, all you who have big money in the bank and is had to do all the business. Think about that. That could be all you, and all you might be as lucky as Edward, Philip Edward Alexander family to live. The bandit might kill all you. You understand? Because that will be country. Me ain't threatening nobody, I mean telling nobody, telling the blasted reality. Because the reality is, I telling all you since January 24th, I think I popped that video, I telling all you that a blasted pothole in Trinidad Tobago will kill somebody. And we see it. And they come and arrest the pothole. And fix the pothole in two days' time. You understand? But they're not arresting the bandits, them who in charge of fixing that blasted pothole before the man dead, you know. They're arresting them people, you know. I'm telling you, boy, if you know I'm sick and fed up at this thing, I really sick, 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 sick and fed up at this thing, boy. Yesterday I had a conversation with somebody and they tell me, eh, you get this thing, this thing change you. I said, no girl, this thing ain't change me. You understand? I was always so, but I thought it was me alone. It's when I see Philip Edward Alexander and I get introduced to the PEP. Then I realize it's not me alone. I was sick and fed up. But I want to know how the majority are trying to be going sick and fed up yet. How we ain't come out on the streets yet. How we ain't filming every single thing. How we ain't want to protest. You see me, boy? You see these live videos and all these, these blogs and all these comments and things, but now, eh, that ain't solving no problem right now. That ain't solving me problem right now, you know, people. That ain't can't solve me problem, boy. You understand? That ain't solving me problem, boy. The only thing to solve Trian Tobago and to save Trian Tobago right now is for at least one million people to come out on the streets. They do the only thing to save the country and turn on the country right now. Here, why are you telling all you? If the if Trinbagonians do decide to unite, to be go forget about that PNM thing what they're thinking about. Or PNM, PNM is the father of the Tobago and all kind of thing. If them do stop thinking about that and join with hands with the people at Trinidad and Tobago. And let all our, the people at Trinidad and let all of we stand together and say enough is enough. Well, brother, I don't know what we could do again. <clears throat> I don't know what Philip and all the researchers at the PEP, Progressive Empowerment Party, I don't know what Derek Lawrence and myself had to do and why I had to explain and why I had to show the people at Trinidad and Tobago again that we're living in a failed nation. We living in a failed country. You understand? I don't know what we have to see again. I don't know. All you have to tell me. I said, I'm going to make a car here. I guess I ain't going nowhere. We, as people in the train and Tobago, we not going nowhere. Right? I can blow my horn there. I said, I'm going to make a car. We ain't going nowhere. You understand? Unless we unite. And, and forget about race and forget about bullshit talk, boy. 
Forget about all these little stunting jackasses like Kim Cole and, and Stark and all these jackasses, boy. We gotta forget about that. Focus on the issues. What you, what you a man could do, take off all your clothes to get likes and shares. And guy you all want to support? Hmm? Just imagine, come along and paint a man who take off your, all your clothes to get likes and shares to distract the people at Chan Tobago from, from the issues we're going on, from the criminality of them. They paint a little black sufferer. You understand? They paint a little, let me say it again. They paint a little black sufferer. Money to distract the people from the true issues. And what is the true issue? Is that them is robbers and thieves. That they stink nasty and dirty. That is the truth. You understand? And them people we still want to support. What? Forget about talking about Kamala. She gave vote out. No! She gave vote out, but she still has a set of lunatics supporting she. You understand? A set of lunatics supporting she. So we can't forget about she. Because she's still coming out with one star bullshit. She ain't, she ain't hanging up. She guns. She ain't retiring from politics. All the retire, when Kamala them retire, we go stop talking about them. You understand? It's only when PEP expose anything, then they want to jump. That was showing all here. Only when we expose Maxi Coffee situation and we, max, we, we expose anything, then they want to jump on that. Where they was all the time. Where they was. We paying the salary. Eh? All the year Philip explained it to all the people them. They devalue the dollar, everything in the country going and go up. You understand? So when the taxi driver tell you what's happening, from Marbella to San Fernando is $20. All you do vex. Because all you don't want to stand up against, all you don't want to stand for the taxi driver, right? You understand? And that what should happen, that what that should happen if I was walking taxi on the road, partner. And I had to drive on this shit all, shit all pot all road in Trinidad to be able to walk to apply, to apply my car for higher on this road. In Trinidad to be able to partner my taxi. See, I don't care what association or what. Because they're helping me repair my car. I raise in my fear as I see fit. Because if the people them in the past space could raise the cost of my ball joint. Or raise the cost of a tire. Or raise the cost of a, a, a steering end. Or anything. I raise my fear. I mean, raise my 50 cents and the landing boy. For that, I raise my, my 5 and 6 dollars and 10 dollars landing boy. I tell you all here, it's either alone to travel with me all the blasted walk. You understand? I don't care about that. And that's what the people are trying to buy how to do. Put, let me put them under stress. You understand? Put the nation under stress. You understand? That's a sign of protesting. You what happening? The road real bad. And unless you, as a person, you have to stand with me. Because the road mashing up my car, you know happening, you gotta pay this fee. You understand? And that's what we had to do. You understand? That we had to start to do. And then people might start to wake up because they accepting Rowley them trying to thief $500 million to try to build a, a airport. Terminal. I go say they try to thief. I watch me. They say they go and spend $500 million and we don't know that ain't gonna happen. By the time that building done, it might reach over a billion dollars. So I say to myself right now, them done looking to steal 500 million. Out of that billion it go end up to be. I real. I don't care what they say. You understand? Because everything, the building trying to be gone, every contract they award anybody, it always costs the citizens are trying to be go more and more money. It don't cost key road. That one can't understand, you know. That one can't understand with people. It's we money these people them spending and frigging up. And people say want to support them. You understand? Like if it's that is them money they're spending. Kamala, that big, big, big house which she living down in Philippines. Eh? Why should you take separate half of that house and I show it a vagrants living in she constituency and bring them and feed them and, and take care of them in that big blasted mansion she living down in Philippines in? Eh? Why should you do that? She loves she constituency. And all the Indian them will live we will lobby in for she don't they. Eh? Pass I'd one room in that blasted big man mansion. Uh, 
En hij is, hij is servant om te koken een meal voor die, voor die, voor die poor. En die vagrants. En die suffering people in your constituency. Na. Do that na. That is what you call love. That way I, that will lead, that will do. Because all I have it, because it's thief it, boy. You understand? People don't want to talk about that. You understand? I will talk about that big house you build. Because that bill out of taxpayers' money. I don't care what nobody tell me. Because they blasted corrupt. You understand? All of them corrupt. I don't want to talk about plans and policies. But with the sense talking about a plan and a policy to take the nation forward. And the people of the nation don't want to go forward. I can understand that. What were you supposed to do? Yes, what were you, you know what we are supposed to do? You see, just how I am. Your name is? Faris. You understand? Baghdad. Just how you trying to rum that, that, that um, anti gang bill down with throat. What do we do? Take the plans and policies about closing on the borders, fixing the education sector, um, planting food and, 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 and building report and everything, and, and the plan, the 24 policies, and shove it down the throat. We know for that, boy. We put it out there, or you read it. You understand? Read it and go and ask all your political leaders who all you're voting for, why you don't do these things. Why you never do it. All the millions and billions of the spend, why you never attempt to do these, none of these 21 policies? Why? Ask them that. How much we go talk about it? How much we go post it up? How much we go show them? Eh? And them don't want to read that. And them don't want to comment on that. And say, wait, boy. I never knew this was possible. They want to say, make them kind of comments. I love this. Or, I never knew. I never thought that this was possible. I, I will willing to give the PEP a chance. No. They come in to talk all kind of bullshit. You understand? Come in to slander a man's name. Or try to bring down a man. You understand? People are trying to be go. We ain't going no way. Unless we don't put a stop to this thing now and come out on the streets of Trin and Tobago and let the people and let these 41 stunting idiots in parliament know that here what happening enough is enough. We don't want to know they again. Then all we Philip doing, all we I doing, all we the hard working people, patriots of Trin and Tobago and all the international bodies doing, it didn't make no sense boy. It don't make no sense. It can't take Trey and Tobago a whole blasted year to listen to all them facts we flip out every night for a whole year and three months and still we ain't ready to mo mobilize and shut down this country, boy. That shooting in America, in America, they how long that take place, boy? Last month or something? Either last month or this month, I can't remember. You understand? I can't remember. Hi, Ali G. Yeah, right. You understand? Shivanan Rampasad. Hi. Watch me. I can't remember what date. But look, it's not a whole year that thing take place. And look at how many millions of people on the streets in Florida. Is Florida? You understand? Look at how many millions of people there. 17 people alone dead. What you want to be going to see again for we to come out on the streets and shut down the country? Who we studying, boy? A $15 minimum wage for the day? We said in two hundred and fifty dollars or three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars a day work to get betterment for we country boy. For every citizen in we country, that will be studying one day work. I want to know what man if we really post up some on Facebook or on social media that here what happening. We gain what man, what how sick we is in Trey and Tobago. Today the twenty fifth of March. If we say twenty fifth of April, I'm trying very much April. We coming out to start for we country. Put aside everything however. You understand? We coming to start for we country. You wanna bet nobody can come and stand for the country. A whole month in advance that we gonna stand for. I, I what they say? Where do you, where do you, where do you think them standing for? Um, fight for our lives or something so? Right? We gonna stand for we country boy. We gonna stand against these thinking politicians where are we in this, con in this condition for 56 years. This is what we country reach to. A man will blow off a woman's head in a taxi.
for a blasted gold chain. That way it reached to in we country. It reached to that people can sell on the streets. Panty and brand and boxers. To earn a living. You understand? It reached to that the government closing on CAP, C, um, CPEP jobs. You understand? That way we country reaching to. You understand? It reaching to that they selling out to be, um, they going into Tobago and buy out Tobago. Ah, I want to share this. People telling me now, oh, the PEP selling cup for $40. Hmm. You know what I tell them? I say, you yeah, stunting stupid jackass. You is going to Starbucks and pay $30 for a cup with your name on it and when you don't drink all the shit in it, you have to throw with the truck. I mean, throw with the, throw with the cup. This $40 cup, this cup I buy for $40, once it then break, I can drink tea in this cup for the rest of my life. I love my country. I ain't loving sub them um, Starbucks cup. I love my country that I will pay $40 for this cup. You understand? So a little talk about we selling a cup of $40. I know I could, I could go in my kitchen and flim all my cup and my real tea cup in my cup I love to drink tea. You understand? I love my tea. Right? But I choose to buy cups. So don't tell me about I waste my money for $40 a cup. I know I could go and buy a cup for $20 in the grocery, in the, in the, in the grocery or any store. But I love my country. So I buy my cup of 40 because I love my country. You understand? So don't, don't come around me with shippiness. We in this country had to get real. And unless we ain't get real, we ain't going no blast, did we? You understand? Unless we just stop studying propaganda, we ain't going no way. Unless we ain't stop when a person die in Toronto Tobago, being murdered in Toronto Tobago, and stop studying what the people them used to do before they're dead. Why? Watch me. Why did they post up what the people? Why did they expose the people before they're dead? If they know the people them is drugs, it was drugs related criminals, or it was domestic or violence, or, or this or whatever. Why we do expose that before the dead? Why we wait until they're dead then to come and expose it? Because we love that. We stink nasty people, boy. We don't love nobody. We don't even love ourselves. I sell up, say, I tell a real cry when I watch that video. When the man started to play this song and all, I started to cry because I don't know where the man coming from. You understand? The man don't want no position, boy. The man wa better country. I don't want no position. I wa better country. I wa country is function like the people in China, in America. What we look at on a USA jersey, right? I want a USA jersey. Where I get us from? This, they bring this from America and sell we here. When I growing up, when I was growing up, here what people used to be saying. I was a little youth man, and here why you say yeah, elder saying, boy. If the people in America sneeze, we is catch the cold down here. First, we is follow them in everything. But you know, we as jackasses, do study to follow them when they're standing up for their rights. Since I was a little boy, I was 44 years. And since I was a little boy, I hear people say that. They make them comments around me and I remember that. Because when Levi jeans or anything, anything brand come out in America, brother. Trying to be go the first country in the world they're exporting that shit to you know. We buying that in the abundance, you know. You yeah, understand? Bloods and Crips. We had that in the jail in Trian Tobago. And in in, in that, that gang, we know that. Bloods and Crips. Where that start? In America. You yeah, understand that, that gang thing bloods and crips is from in America. And who live in America? Tell me, Ali G and and, and, and Bloods and Crips is in America? That start from so, you understand? That start. Lisa, go in, good evening. You understand? Paula, good evening. You understand? Watch me. Them things start from in America. So we taking all these patterns, following the hairstyle, following the, somebody we in Trinidad and Tobago. Is she saying anywhere this is too? Right? Watch me. I tell her when I glasses and I still have to go and get my eye test. I can't see the, the comments now and I don't want my people to feel that I see them and I ain't recognizing them or thing. But watch my eyes. I can't still can't see good with this glass. I have to go and get back my eyes test, right? So let's forgive me, right? 
Watch me. Why we can't see as a nation that we really had to go for? We want to follow America and everything. We, got, we follow what we did do yesterday, boy. What we Emma? That little girl, boy. Yeah, if not mad, that little girl, eh, boy. Why she don't come to Trinidad? I wonder if she come to Trinidad and she... I, I feel she come to Trinidad, partner. People might stand up, boy. But are we bring she from America? You understand? What are we seeing videos of we school train fighting on the streets? Eh? And we inside the protest for that yet. 17 people dead in one school, you know. You understand? And what would, what would that, what would that cause, boy? Hmm? A march for the life. Eh? A march for the life, boy. You understand? I tell you, you watch me. We love to get farmer. We just wait for America to sneeze and we catch the cold down here. People are trying to be go, enough of that shippiness, boy. If all I want to be a brands, it are people killing people for brands and trying to be go. We don't read about them things and we ain't seen them things. People getting robbed for brands and trying to be go. You understand? People dying for anything and trying to be go right now. When we go stand up, when we go protest, when we go come out and say enough is enough. These people living in a first world nation and they're still saying that ain't good enough. We living in a third world shithole country. And what we waiting on to say this is not good enough? What we waiting on to say we deserve better? Watch me. Just imagine. They want to put down... Uh, uh, Keith Rowley balling out Trinidadians gone mad. Partner, we not mad, boy. We must be the only country that have a main road passing through our oil refinery. A main road that any citizen, any terrorist, so-called terrorist or whatever, could drive through a refinery in Marbella. I'll come to come down and see it. Anybody driving through a deep refinery? Yes, and nobody never stop and try to blast it. We or try to, 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 to do no harm to the refinery because we know that we own, boy. We love we country. We not no terrorists. We nothing in we country, boy. All you is the terrorist, boy. The 41 politicians who reigning right now, all is the terrorists. Because all are not fixing nothing in we country. All are not trying to address the food prices in we country. You are the Prime Minister. When Sabka come out to talk that bullshit about devaluating with dollar, you supposed to come out and let him know, hey, mash your brakes. The fuck it. Gold Kakos. Sorry, people. What are you telling me about? You trying to tell me how to run my country? No, you can't come out and tell Sabka that because you're in Sabka pocket. But when Philip come out and explodes all you, I don't want to hush him up, and They all stink and nasty and people can't see them kind of thing. With the opposition on that, how a man who is not no, who he is, Sabka, who he is, he a minister or something? That man will come and talk that thing. He's a minister. How he could come and tell the people about the value in Widala? How stinking Gollum, Smeagol, then come and talk about that? That was showing you all your boy, one star blast, a distraction. You understand? One star shit, them coming to Trinidad and Tobago with. And that's what we want to talk about. You understand? And we're not seeing the truth for what it is, boy. These people are not going to give we a break, you know. Unless we say we want a break. These people are not going to change nothing. Unless we, the people at Chant Tobago, say we want a change. I want to know, you know, if our people... I want to know if, if they spread that song on the radio in Trinidad and Tobago, you know. Hell on Francis, change. Yes, and I want to know more people really listen to that, 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 that song. All them people them would have man sing for in that marsh, girl. UNC and PNM people. I wonder what they think about that song. I want to know what they think if changing is just changing their clothes. I, I want to know if that what they, that what they told the man singing about. You want to change, you want to change, change the color of your house. Or you want to change, change your clothes. Or you want to change, change the color of your car. I change. No people, I not change, boy. Changing is changing the politicians who rape, we and pillage. Rape and pillage this country for 55, 56 years. That's what change is about. 
moving forward. Eh? 2030 now. I, boy, what man, I, I sick and I fed up all this shit, eh, boy. So people are trying to be go, what we go do? I don't know what we go do, you know. Yes, and I trying, Philip trying, the people progressive empowerment party trying. I don't know what we go do. Yes, and I don't know more people trying to be go really willing to try. I right now I don't know if it are half a million people self willing to stand up on a march. I don't know that. You understand? Because same to me, partner, I going all the groceries. When I go in the groceries and all about, I be listening to people conversation and I'm and nobody do be talking nothing with sense, you know. You understand? People still talking a set of bullshit, you know. I want to try to insert this your conversation and try to let them know well, watch my boy be country on fire and it's time to try to out it or wherever and wherever. They may want to hear that now, boy. You understand? I don't want my country to reach the Venezuela, you know, boy. I really don't want to reach to that state, you know. But, eh. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to say it, you know, but I blast it, say it. I feel it at Trin Trinbagonians. Trinidadians and Tobagonians waiting for you to reach that state. They want you to reach that state. Me don't come with the politician, you know. Because they want you to reach that state. We know that. We know that. But I feel the Trinidadians and Tobagonians, normal citizens, all are we waiting for you to reach here, boy. We waiting for we country to reach that state just like Venezuela. Because what, what go say again? What go say again? Minister of National Security, Edmond Dillon, on fraud charges. The talk is that he convicted. And up to now, Rowley or nobody didn't come on the TV and tell him what's happening. Or they stop saying Edmond Dillon is in Minister of National Security. I fire, I fire him. Hmm? But no. When Philip want to call Stark a sufferer, or you want to stand up against Kim Cole, or you want to stand up against these stunting jackasses in Trinidad and Tobago. We have a problem with that. But we have a problem that Edmund Dillon, named in a fraud charge in America, and he still is the Minister of National Security. We have a problem with that. And, <laughs> boy, hey, if you know I'm sick and I'm fed up, eh? I feel if I went to UE, and I had a degree in some kind of whatever feel, whatever feel. I feel I would have go blasting mad. Serious, 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 serious. Because if I had all the education in my blasted head, and I see all this truth still, and I expose all of this, but now I feel I would have go mad and people in take on what go on in the country and then they, they, they stand up and 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 and. and Say that they will change. They ain't come out on the street and, and protest. What man? I know constituency. No way. Look at people like how get a tall power, boy. Six months and more. Them sit down and them are no representative. And it didn't have, it didn't have a protest in like how get a tall power for that. Tell me. See and see, we really less what we country to be like this. I want to know. Them pressure in this country so much. Like, so more people dying and so more people talking about packing up and leaving and all kind of thing. These stunting jackasses them. It's only people with a little bit of money right now. Might have a little chance to leave you know. So all these sufferers them. Who still want to say. Red we ready and yellow we study. All the other stay and swim in the shit you know. Yes, and because only a few middle class people right now surviving right now and could afford to leave this country and go and make it out there. You, know? you understand? So if all you feel, all you want to listen to Marcia Brave Boy who hiding from voodoo thing or whatever and support the UNC and support the PNM. But brother, I'm sorry for all you. You understand? Because all you had to continue mopping the floor in Massey stores and in KFC. For the fifteen dollars an hour, and when did the, the the money devalue again? Well, brother, your fifteen dollars an hour ain't gonna worth nothing. So let's sit down and let's support Sabka, and let's support Rowley, 
another support Kamala, another support Faris, another support Kolb, another support Munilal, another support all these other jackasses. Hello, continue. Yes, and those sit on in the house, or come out in the yard and watch wrong all the neighborhood. Yes, and don't come out and watch wrong and see what's going on in all the neighborhood. Hello, support Rowley, because he's black and he's African. You understand? All the support Kamala because she's an Indian. You understand? Don't support the other country. Don't support that. You understand? Don't support the red, black and white flag. Don't support production tolerance and... Production tolerance and... Um, production tolerance. Until I forget my watch words and all. First we don't repeat it as, as much. You understand? Tolerance, production and... With the next watch word boy, what you tell me they? You understand? We don't want to support them thing. You understand? We don't want to be toler people with tolerance. You understand? All we want to do, we want to tolerate bullshit. You understand? That's what we want to do. Right? We don't want to be a, product a productive society that we could produce our own food. No. We want to produce bullshit. You understand it? We want to build one star building and discipline, right? Thank you. Thank you, Derek Singh. Right? We want to produce one star bullshit. We want to produce one star buildings. Build one star buildings that do function. You understand? We want to build a set of hospitals that do function. We want to build a set of schools. We finish finishing build them and the ones we've done building they're still not functioning. You understand it? And the ones we're functioning will be saying that it's functioning. Only one star blasted delinquents coming out of it. People who can read, people who can understand that the what they're reading in the media is bullshit. You understand it? That way we, we want to support in Chan Tobago. Watch me. I, Derek Lawrence, is fed up. Me you know when I coming back here or what I going to do again right now. You understand? Because I totally sick and friggin' fed up. I, I, boy, here what happening? We have a, next, next, next week, Saturday. I believe we have a walkabout in Kuva South. Next week, Saturday, all again, watch me. Look, I tell the people yesterday that I next week I go and carry my family on the beach. Yes, and I tell them, well, you're happening. When I come back from the beach, I go pass in the office still and let my wife and, and my train sign up on him because they ain't going up yet. You understand? But they believe telling me, oh, well, next week we have a walkabout in Kuva South. So I say, well, right, you're happening. Me, you're going to the beach again. I go up off that and I go come and do the walkabout. You know what they believe turn and tell me? They to show how these people, they're scaring people. She turned and told me, she said, Derek, you go on the beach with your family. You understand? Who want to come and do the walkabout and who else love the country, they'll come and do it. You don't have to come. You understand? Because I doing. You understand? I trying them. See, I recognize I trying. So next week I ain't going to do no walkabout. I go into on the beach with me and my family. You understand? And hope that I make it back, make it to the beach and back alive. Because I tell her to go no way. You understand? And I'm fed up of that now. I say, boy, shit, that, let me go. You understand? My daughter and my son say they want to go on the beach. I can carry them on the beach next week. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to flim the, the, um, the car park for all you. And if I go on, I ain't going yet and see it too. So they do it over and away. So when I go up the next week, Saturday, inshallah, I'm going to flim the car park for all you. You understand? I want to show all you where they spend $61 million on. You understand? Because we're living in a mad country. So you are telling all you, next week, Saturday, we have a walkabout in South. Um, Kuva South, sorry, right? Well, again, contact with the village. I can't get in contact with any of the, the PEP, Satish, Satish. Get in contact with Mr. Philip. Get in contact with anybody. And they go tell all you where is the walkabout, where it's starting, and where, the, where, where, where is the plans. Right? And we want to see where the people are Kuva South, where is their, their, their take, their take on this political movement that the PEP are about. Fix, trying to fix the country. You want to know where they take on the, the, the plans and policies that we put out there for the people that are trying to be good. What, what I think it is now. Look how easy. What, what you know easy it will be able to fix the country. We'll have fix the country a long time. You know, if me, Massy Media and Sabka News Network did gain PEP a little mileage on the, on the, on the, on the, um, on the, on the, on the, um, on the papers or whatever, you know. we have fix it because what's me? More and more people want to hear about the PEP policies and plan to jump in on. But here what I'm telling all you, jumping on is not enough. Yeah, son. Time to stand and show your support. So next week Saturday in Kuva South, 
I want to, I, I, I'm, I wouldn't be there, right? But I, I will, I will get information. I want to know how my people was who came out. You understand? So watch my people. I'll stay safe. I'll see in everyday people dying. I'll keep in mind. Go on the PEP page. You understand? The Progressive Empowerment Party page. PEPTT.com. You understand? Get in contact with the the members of the PEP, the Progressive Empowerment Party, and it's time for change in we country people. What your fast the convict a pothole for the murder of the 21 year old boy who died in Barack Pony Rosh at Douglas Road. I can't, I can't remember his name. Right? What your fast they convicted that pothole? They come the two days after and patch it. And on that same road, people, it have more than a dozen potholes. And they inside to deal with none. So they're just waiting for the next pothole. To kill somebody again, and then they will come and convict that portal and fix that situation. That is the kind of people we are running, right? So, people, be careful on the nation roads, right? Be careful on the nation roads. Be careful around, about your surroundings. Be aware about your surroundings in Trinidad Tobago right now. And all uh, stay safe till I see all you again. I don't know when it could be. I study said that, but. Because what my things is bother me, boy. I just want to come in about, eh. I had to talk to my people, boy. Because I believe we're reaching people, we're reaching people, but watch me. The only way we could know if we're really reaching people, people, you are telling all right? The only way we could know if all of we're reaching all here yeah, is for you to come out. Right? The only way, watch me. Sing down home and tweeting. Yeah, son. Sing down home and tweeting on your arm. On your phone or wherever, your laptop or wherever. That is good. I, I, I like that support. Yeah, and because the truth and I may see. But for them to really see the true action and what the PEP stand for. You yeah, what happening? We had to organize a massive rally, a massive march for the people of Trinidad and Tobago, not for the PEP. For the people of Trinidad and Tobago. For the future of the country, we had to organize and come out. In we numbers, people. And I do this way, we're going to get changed. Here, why telling all you? Right? So, till I see all you again, I'll just share this live. Share Philip live we do yesterday. Plenty of people didn't watch it because it was late, 11 o'clock in the night. I and all was tired. I went and sleep. Yeah, and, but my wife don't know. She go, she don't know. When the first thing that I get up and I open my eyes this morning, first thing she tell me. Afterwards, she give me salams or whatever. She said, babe, you know, Philip was live last night. Right? I went and I... Use the bathroom and wherever and wherever and wherever. I make my cup of tea and I come and I sing and I watch him man live and I cry out my life. Because it hurt me. Yeah, you know I'm Because I see it in him man way. Oh, the kind of passion this man really have for the country. But and still people want to be on bullshit. The people that will run in the country right now on real, real, real bullshit. And still people want to defend them and they want to try to bring down this man. But yeah, people are trying to be go. I'm sorry, you know, I'm really, really sorry, but I'm sorry that we contribute to this state. But till I see all you again, I'll share the life, and I love all you, I'll stay safe.